Hello. I thought I'd just talk about somebody we used to know. He was a friend of my mum and dad's. Uh, he was kind of a strange guy. Uh, he, he used to, um, when he got drunk in the pub, he used to dance with his newspaper. I always had an umbrella with him and he'd fall asleep and I'll try and show you when he, when he was asleep on the on the couch or whatever, his feet would be going like this. His feet would be going like this. Like he'd be sort of dancing in his sleep. And uh, his house was haunted, by the way. I was, I was only very young when we knew, we knew him when he lived in this house. But uh, apparently um, his cupboard doors used to open and close on their own. And um, there'd, be, there'd be voices, disembodied voices and things like that. I don't remember any of this, it's just coming out second hand to me, but I just remember, I was just thinking about him before, I thought I might as well talk about him a little bit. Um, he was a right skinny guy, he dyed his hair red once, and my mum said he looked like the ghost rider. <laughs> it looked like his head was on fire. He, he died at Pillar Box Red. Anyway, uh, oh yeah, and he, um, he was cheap as well. Instead of buying glasses, he'd get the, um, he bought a, a bottle of pop, cork or something he'd cut down about halfway down and make a glass out of the bottom of a, a bottle of cork all the you know anybody come round that's what they get instead of a glass for a drink um once this one time um he was making chips and he wanted to see if the oil was quick was hot enough so he put his fingers in to the hot fat and burnt all his fingers weird guy Anyway, yeah, his house was haunted and they apparently had some strange experiences there. I don't know what, whether he was messing about with something or... He used to talk to himself as well. I don't know if any of this is of any interest to anybody, but... I just thought I'd just ramble on about him for a few minutes anyway. I'm just trying to think of some of the other... He used to um, walk everywhere as well. On one side of town to the other, from his house to this some guy who's he did the gardening for him. Uh, my mum dressed him up as a butler once. That was funny. You know, strange people in your life. This is just one of one of them. I think he's dead now. He was an old man when I first knew him. So it's called Floyd. He was. What a strange person he was. Anyway, it's, I don't know where this is going. I just thought I'd just talk about him for a few minutes. If somebody finds it interesting, fair enough. If if you don't, you don't. It's as simple as that, isn't it, really? Okay, bye then.